Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft server. It's episode 5 and today we are starting things off by checking out the slime farm drops. Now right now the slime farm is currently running in a bit of a slow mode. I mentioned this in the episode where I built it, but essentially the slimes are kind of jumping around on their platforms and then eventually falling off the edges, whereas we need iron golems in the fences so that the slimes get attracted to them. But, as you guys know, as I'm a bit of a newbie when it comes to Minecraft 1.13, I had a little bit of trouble actually creating my iron golems because I didn't realize that pumpkins now come without a face. They, they don't have faces to them. You have to shear them to give them a face, and then when you give them a face, that's when the, you can create an iron golem. That's completely crazy. It also makes total sense. I actually really like that feature. So, we're definitely going to work on that, but before we do anything... Yeah, someone's definitely switched off. Oh! Whoa, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are balling out of control. How many diamonds is that? Six diamonds, nine diamonds, 12 diamonds, 15 diamonds. <laughs> We're rich. We're filthy stinking rich. I feel like there's a slight chance that I might have set my price a little bit too low. <laughs> Regardless of that, I guess, right, we now have a massive incentive to actually get our slime farm working really quickly because otherwise we are going to be selling slime balls faster than we can produce them. Come on. I really need some form of iron farm. So how does this work then? Oh, nice. And that gives us pumpkin seeds and lots of them too. Hey, that's not bad at all. And there we go. Now we actually have an iron golem. Okay, so we need to push him across a little bit like this, get that fence post in, and then somehow make our own way out, I guess by going out through the corner. That's not a bad idea. And we are now all set. So if we place all those in and then we can get these ones in and that guy is now all in place and hopefully hopefully the slimes can see him and now all four of the iron golems are all in place so this thing is now running at maximum efficiency essentially for the size of it and for the way that it's all been built so any slime that spawns here is going to see that iron golem run towards it die in the magma and then have all of its items picked up by our minecarts Oh, nice, nice, we can actually see it happening. Right here, look, look, see, look, there's a slime. He is trying to attack that iron golem. And there he is, dying in the magma. So this is actually functioning at this point in time. And then look, there go the little ones. And they've all just died straight away. <laughs> we got like a live view and this looks great from above the ocean as well. This is cool. Anyway, the first thing that I want to do in today's Hermitcraft episode is actually start work on my proper base. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into a creative mode testing world and I'm going to start work on the actual structure of this thing because I have a pretty crazy concept and I want to make sure that I get this right. Okay, so things are coming together pretty nicely here. I'm just in the process of building up the first little section of my idea and as you can see, this season, we are going to be going relatively high up in the sky. So in the previous season of Hermitcraft, obviously, you know, our base was a kind of a bit pancakey. Whereas now, we're going to be getting bigger, at least on the central island. Now I'm thinking, okay, so if we... Okay, so we have that. We have that set up. So if we have four of those set up and then in the center we have our big area in the middle how will that look and then this is just going to be on this island so once again this season we're not going to be being symmetrical or anything like that but i want something cool on our central island and i think this is a good way to do it because then in the middle there we're going to have something coming up through the center now i feel like it's worth mentioning that for me personally mc edit isn't working for minecraft 1.13 which means that everything that i'm doing here is being built manually in creative mode with absolutely no world edit or cloning or anything like that all of these blocks are being placed in by hand which makes it extra especially heartbreaking when you make a mistake like that now this is just to oh it's on that side as well <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I think that mistake has actually helped out because when I placed in the blocks to fix up the mistake I noticed that it actually looked quite cool with the double thickness 
of the concrete. So that might be something that I roll with. Anyway, I'm now in the process of filling in the glass as well. So let's see how this... So here's what I'm realizing from building this thing. I think the central circle that we're actually building around needs to be bigger. I'm talking kind of like this sort of size. So it almost takes up like a large quantity of the island and then the arms come off it there. And also I prefer this side to this side. That side's flat, this side actually has some depth to it and that makes it look a lot better. And it's gonna look even cooler once we get some form of light sources in. All right, we've tried out a whole bunch of different things. I've been working on this over the past couple hours now. Uh, so I would say that this is my personal favorite. So without the thick walls of the glass, I think that looks the best. Uh, I definitely think that circle needs to be bigger in the center there. So when we, if we end up building this on a Hermitcraft server, because I'm still not 100% certain, uh, the circle would definitely be bigger. I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do for this thing. Now, th there's a bunch of ideas that are circling in my head. So the first thing is that I was considering creating a full globe, having a power beam going through the center right here, and then having an area in the center just wrapping around like this, potentially as a hexagon or an octagon, I guess that would be an octagon in the center there and that would wrap around like that and then apart from this circle it would all be filled in and it would have its own terraformed landscape on the top but then it would also have an upside down landscape on the bottom so the power would kind of be acting as like a gravitational thing so it would have like an upside down landscape yeah on the bottom of this thing so you'd have like a two-sided world on either side of it. That could look cool and that would be super futuristic or alternatively if we go with this kind of like half half globe idea i was thinking about having two individual platforms so we have one hexagon or octagon <laughs> in the middle and then we have another octagon on the top level and the one on the top level is where my storage system will be going so basically all of this is just the wrapper for my storage system that's it you know what my head is so much of a mess after messing around with this stuff that i think it's time for me to just kind of cool off for a little while so i'm going to do a one hour resource gathering session we're going to see how much we can get in that time so in today's super fast time lapse chat, I just want to shoot through some ideas of what I've had with my base. Because of course, you know, ever since booting up that creative mode testing world, my mind has been flying through all sorts of different concepts. And my concept has actually changed. As soon as I started that world, I changed my idea. So originally I was going to have some spikes popping up out of the ground. And then that was going to be what was holding up the thing in the center. But I actually quite like, I'm, I'm starting to really like this globe idea. I think the globe could look really cool with like the disc in the middle that then has one correct way up world and the other way is like upside down and we could even get we could even get scar to help us out with the terraforming so both sides look amazing that could be really really cool <laughs> uh now that i'm thinking about it but outside of that i mean i don't know if i want more floating islands like if we had some more flying stuff going on around the base or if we just keep it as islands and then we have just things dotted around in the area and then things popping up left, right and center. I don't know. Oh, I do like, I, now that I've said that about that disc idea though with Scar, that would be so cool. That would be so, so cool. I'd have to ask him if it'd be up for some upside down terraforming. <laughs> Cause I, I don't know if he's ever really done that before. So that'd be an interesting project to work on. Hmm. God, there's too, there's too much, too much for one brain. Blimey. Hey, I gotta say that was that was a pretty successful one. Let's head back up to the base and let's regroup all of the resources because I'm pretty excited about this. So this is where we're currently sitting in terms of resources. We've got over two stacks of diamonds now. We've got, I mean, the only thing that we're really struggling with is kind of iron. I mean, we've got loads of coal, loads of redstone. We've got a decent-ish quantity of gold. But yeah, iron, iron is going to be the main killer for us here. But still, killing it. Anyway, back to the base now. Whatever we're planning on doing in the future, it's going to involve quite a large quantity of glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this little small super smelter right here. And we're going to get this thing up and running so it looks like yeah, all of the items are making their way in nice and quickly there. And that's going to be going overnight. So I'm going to AFK, we're going to load up the slime farm, we're going to load up all the other farms, and hopefully we get a ton of resources. But before I go AFK, I've actually just come up with an idea for something that may or may not be in the rules, but could work quite nicely. <laughs> Now we all know that Grian likes to come down into my base and there's a few other members of the server that like to come into my base occasionally. So I thought I would create an automated tagging machine. So the idea is, is that it punches the player 
and then tanks them with, <laughs> with an item. I think those are the only two things that are required. I will reread the rules, but I imagine this is totally okay. And you know, how else am I going to tag them? I'm I'm a redstone guy. Oh, <laughs> just as I go AFK. Please, 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 please. <laughs> All right, let's see how this evolved. Hold up, I was just about to leave the studio and I looked at my recording and I've noticed that this slime block has moved. Now let me see, has it, I've just thought, has a chicken done it? Has a chicken caused this? There's no chickens in here. So surely, someone must have actually tagged themselves. <laughs> I just watched about the footage. And I got green. <laughs> he comes down into my face. Uh, I don't know what he was looking for, but he comes down into my. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll chat to him and I'll see if that was in the rules. But <laughs> the first ever redstone tag. Oh my word! I mean that is. <laughs> Oh, his confusion is just so, so visible in the clip. Oh, fantastic. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, Mumbo. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> Whoa, uh, hang on. You're looking very official. Oh yeah, I, I, I've put some, I've put on a, a new suit because, I, hold on, let, let me come over to you. Okay. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a bit confused by your is this is this just an addition that you've made to my base? It, whoa! <laughs> the red pants <laughs> and everything. <laughs> I've got the business deal of a century. Yeah, well, it looks sure looks like it, man. I'm not like your me. average door-to-door -door salesman. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm the sort of salesman that lives in your house and gives <laughs> you the best deal possible. <laughs> you look more like a hotel doorman, I have to say. I mean, that's. <laughs> Okay, so I got two questions. Yeah. Well, not really a question. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> I, I, I just got rid of this thing. <laughs> that was, I, I'd say, I mean, you know what's hilarious is, is that I kind of set this up. I was like, I wonder if this will catch anything. And then I came back to my computer. I was literally just about to leave the studio. And I saw that the cobblestone had, had been pulled back by the slime block. And I was like, no, surely oh. not. I and I obviously, because, you know, I'm, I've got super surveillance since you came along. Uh, I was recording my AFK <laughs> session and I managed to catch you in the act. You, you <laughs> must have also caught me getting stuck because I couldn't open this door and I got I started drowning. But that, that might be another moment that you got on your security footage. <laughs> I think I might have done. Yeah, <laughs> I've got. I've got. How all did you sorts. do this? How did? How does this work? Where was the tag? Oh, uh, the tag was just in this little dropper down here. So it just it just went straight into your inventory. Oh. <laughs> of course it did. Of course it did. <laughs> I mean, technically, you. I mean, you can't get me back because it's surely this is the same episode. So I'm safe for now. Yeah, no, I can't. No, you're right. I can't get you anyway, and I have to wait until next episode to get someone else. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, you can't just re-tag someone. Yeah, of course. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, I've got to get someone else. The next, the next question I have was, did you hear my AFK song that I sang you when you were standing there? Yeah, yeah. I ha I've actually heard. I've, I've heard. I've heard a remix of it as well. I've, I believe <laughs> there's multiple remixes being worked on. I mean, I think that might be a, a thing that has now become a thing. <laughs> So <laughs> anyway, come, follow me, follow me, follow okay, me to okay. follow me to my office. Yeah, let's get away from the sound of all the zombies and the chi I've got like the noisiest. This is that is not an official entrance. That, that's not okay. <laughs> that is uh, that is the official entrance. I thought you were meant to be a Hello, builder, man. <laughs> is this, that is the, the, this is the reception area, and uh, if you just come downstairs, uh, we'll we'll carry on with the meeting, shall we? Okay. Oh wow, this is very. Fit. I like all the right. gravel wall. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, take a seat there. Yep. This is. I mean. Right. These are quite big, but yep. Yeah. yeah, so well, we're, we're big men. We're big, okay. strong men. We need big, strong chairs, okay? <laughs> okay so yeah, here's yeah. my business proposal. This is the big the big thing. Yeah. So I'm new to Hermitcraft, and it's pretty safe to say you're probably my closest friend, as we've done a few videos before. You've even been to my house. We recorded cats. Yeah. That sort of thing. You know, the, the standard things that friends do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are already some pre-established 
sort of groups on the server already operating and doing their thing. The NHO and Cub and Scar are doing their thing, and there are already little groups forming. Right. And I feel like I want to propose to you a new group called Buildstone. Buildstone. What do you think? Me and you. Buildstone. Buildstone. Redstone building. Buildstone. Teaming up. Okay. Buildstone. I mean, we can change the name if you want. Um, no, I, I like it. I like the way you say it as well. Do you have to say it like this? Buildstone. Exactly. It has to be said like that every time. Buildstone. Buildstone. <laughs> okay. With a, Buildstone. with a Buildstone group. Okay. Yeah. Um. No, I mean, that sounds interesting. Yeah, that, that sounds like something I'll be interested in for sure. And oh, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I've, I've gone and run the statistics. So I've talked with my ana analysts uh, and my marketing team, which is me. Yep. And... I've come up with a logo. <laughs> wow! Oh, you, you, the buildstone, buildstones, gravel, I, sort of. Th didn't... This is why I need you. <laughs> this is why. This is why I need you. Let me just take care of this. Building. <laughs> I do the building. You yeah. do the redstoning. And um, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the worst logo ever. It was no. a bit of a. It's, it's all right. It's buildstone. I like it. I mean, it, it looks. Does it come with the torches? Are these are these uh, necessary, no, or is I, it? I just need, needed some light. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of ignore, course. Ignore that. Got it. Well, no, I like it, <laughs> and I especially liked your reveal. That was very nice. <laughs> 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 Do you have anything in mind to start off with, just out of interest? I got as far as this proposal. I didn't want to get ahead of myself just okay. in case you said no. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to invest too much time. I mean, you'd already. You, I I can't I can't imagine how many hours that took you to build I, this. I mean, <laughs> a little while. It took me a little while. <laughs> so don't 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 shame me, dude. No, I'm being serious. I, mean, I know you struggle with this sort of thing. This is a that was a genuine <laughs> statement. So the other thing is, um, I'm not too set on the logo or the name. Yeah. So what I've been sort of saying in my episode is, why don't we open it up a little bit to the audience and they yeah. can submit some designs for a logo and even a name. And if yeah. there's something that sort of resonates with both of us, we could like take it and then, you know, say, look at this, uh, Minecraft, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine came yeah. up with this. Yeah. It's a really long username, but yeah. What do you think about Buildstone that? Buildstone one two three four five six seven eight nine. That's that's gonna be the new name if it's coming from him. <laughs> no, yeah, I like that idea, hundred percent. So I guess yeah, we'll have to ask people to submit things like that on on in the comments and down on or on Twitter and things like that. I'm assuming. Yeah, I think best way is to tweet us a picture with yep. a name, and if you like the name Buildstone, by all means use that. Yeah. And yeah, I think I think that was the proposal so far. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, this could be our problem. So I've just I've just come back into the studio uh, and it looks like zombies can spawn on this edge here, which means that maybe they might be able to spawn on the other edge, this edge here, which means that maybe they might be able to attack us, but it's probably quite rare. Okay, I've got to stay away from that guy. I can't tell if the efficiency of the farm has improved or not, but this looks okay. Dude, we are quids in again. Mild, a mild quids in, a small quids in. We are doing okay though. Anyway, next up on the Hermitcraft server, what I want to do is build up a super smelter system. So obviously we left the smelter running overnight and that smelted up all the glass, but I imagine this base is going to be using tons of glass. So in the early days, it will be smart to just get a small little system, maybe eight, maybe 10 furnaces in total that will sort us all out. And this is the beginnings of it. So you can see that we've got all of our hoppers in place. We've got eight furnaces in total. And what we're going to have is we're going to have minecart rails which travel back and forth across here. So the only thing that I need to do now is obviously we need the minecart rails in place, but these right here are going to be our input chests. So we're going to have one hopper going in that direction. And then we have another hopper which is going to be dropping the coal down into this one. So this one's going to be the coal one. This one is going to be the items one. And when we fill this up with items... Yeah, so that just fired and we should see this redstone activate. Yeah, so that will power this powered rail. It will also power this powered rail. So our coal will go back and forth 
and also our items will go back and forth as well. So it's quite a simple little system. Look, we, we only have one little circuit involved. And if you want to see the tutorial, it's on my YouTube channel. It's a very old video. It's called the Super Smelter Industrial Furnace Station. And it was actually uploaded over four years ago now, which is terrifying because I remember recording it like it was yesterday. I'm a bit confused. Did I use all of my, there's no way I used all of my iron to make those iron golems. There's no way. But I don't seem to have any. That's bizarre. Thankfully, we managed to cobble enough together to create all of the minecart tracks. So now let's just create one of these, a hopper chest, and, well, not a hopper chest, a minecart chest. And this should just about round everything up when it comes to this build. So we place in one of them over here, and one of them goes here. That one is for the coal, and that one is for all our items. So we now have a fully functioning super smelter system fully built. All we need to do now is just grab ourselves some wood for that chest down at the bottom there, and that will be all completed. I don't, what? What? I guess Green just just uses my base as like a a, a pass through. <laughs> <laughs> How rude, he doesn't even close the door on his way through. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that just about rounds everything up for today's episode on the Hermitcraft server. It's been a fun one. We've done a whole bunch of different stuff, some of it on the server, some of it not on the server. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the base plans. I mean, this is all way up in the air at this point in time. So I'm going to continue working on that over the next couple of days because I, I've got a lot of thinking to do. But anyway, if you did enjoy, please drop that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.